Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today, a Thursday, here at Madworld Tarot. And we're going to look at a rumour today about a royal couple that might be separating in the new year. There's a rumour going around, there's always rumours going around and that's why we do tarot of course. We test out these rumours, we test out the energy around these rumours and this rumour going around on Twitter is that there is going to be a royal separation and it might be a constitutional drama because somebody who is a constitutional expert has just quit his post working uh, for the royal family. So that's that's everybody putting two and two together and making 22, of course. But we're going to do a little reading with the After Tarot, my breakup and makeup tarot deck. And we're going to look at the story and we're going to see if there's any truth to it, ask for a clue about who might be involved. And then I'm going to look at the, the main contenders according to this rumor. And of course, the squaddies are going mad for hoping that it's William and Catherine. So we look at them. Some people are speculating that Sophie and Edward might be uh, um, heading for a breakup. We're going to look at them. Uh, Jack and Eugenie, also candidates that have been mentioned. So we look at them. And then, of course, we'll throw in Harry and Meghan because why not? Uh, because I've just done a reading on their trip to Costa Rica, which has just uh, been uh, revealed. Their secret trip to Costa Rica, which has just been revealed to the main English, English language newspaper in Costa Rica. And so we'll ask about them as well. Just one card each to see the status of their relationship because this is an equal opportunities channel here. We try and read on all the royals. Of course, some royals force themselves forward with stories in the press every day, and we can't help that as tarot readers. And of course, let's remind you, it is just tarot for fun and entertainment, and I'll explain the layout as we go. And uh, it is all just my opinion. It's all just speculation, rumor, gossip. I just read energy, and of course, there is a disclaimer in the box below so a bit of a funny one that I'm doing here but I know what I'm doing and universe knows what I'm doing because I've written it down thought about it always do that or you could say meditate it's a bit of a fancy word for thinking deeply about these things so I don't really like to say I've meditated on it it just seems a bit a bit pretentious for a tarot reader reading on the royal family underlying energy star in reverse. So yeah, we have got a situation that is um, painful. The star is about healing, it's about hope and optimism and faith. And when you commit in a marriage, you have that faith and hope that this is going to be your path forever. And the card in reverse is that and might reflect that unfortunate moment where somebody at least in the relationship, whichever relationship it is, has realized that this is not the path forever and this can't be healed, this can't be fixed. It's disappointment, um, even despair. It's, it's a sad energy, the star in reverse, when you realize that uh, you've got to let go, you've got to give up a situation that you really hoped was going to be uh, all that they promise uh, in all the songs and the books and everywhere else uh, but in reality sometimes it doesn't quite work out that way so star in reverse rather sad energy I have to say Aquarian energy just by the way I don't think any of the main contenders are Aquarians so let's have a look and see the situation that's our top card situation we got the page of pentacles in reverse that's a breach of contract uh, it's very much contractual, the Page of Pentacles, about money, to discussions around money, so contracts. In reverse, a marriage is a contract at some level. There is a contract that has failed or is failing. There might be discussions around some sort of settlement, um, separation agreement, that kind of thing. Uh, it's and it's also just it's going to be unfortunate news when it breaks it might have some impact on them as a couple whoever this couple is uh, on their um, standing as a couple in terms of how they earn I'm saying that uh, for most of these couples it doesn't really matter well it does matter goodness uh, it matters for all of them uh, their status in terms of a, as a brand so yeah let me not um overthink this so um 
on the left hand side next column next row down i want to know is it true and we have got indications that something is going on here so what's going on and yes we have a somebody nine of pentacles in reverse somebody who does not relish the prospect of being on their own nine of pentacles in reverse somebody who uh, might find themselves out in the cold lonely um, feeling the pinch as a result of whatever is going on um, it's, it's a sad lonely single person rather than the happy single person which is the card when it's upright don't not a care in the world enjoying life on their own um, well provided for but that's the reverse energy has come through in this reading so it does look as if the female of this relationship is going to be particularly hurt by it let's see give us a clue that's my next question for universe please give us a clue who this might be we've got queen of pentacles we've got somebody who is uh, quite a high status woman earth sign it would be inclined to so you could say there's catherine there's sophie um as as those kind of high status women uh so hmm um in particular that that might be eugenia i always forget um i have an idea she's an aries so i'm going to stick with that she might be very late aries borderline taurus um but anyway it's somebody who she might be taurus actually i think jack is taurus they, they might be quite close so so they are I, I i look it up you tell me i, I always forget I need a cheat sheet of the cast of characters written down with all their their signs. So uh, it's not really helping me, quite honestly, that Queen of Pentacles. But I thought, let's see before we get to the, the main contenders, according to this rumor. First one, William and Catherine, how are they doing right now? Wow, we've got the tower in reverse. And if I were a sugar uh, or a squatty, I would be rejoicing and say, well, that's them that's the divorce card that's it um it's over and uh, we're going to hear the announcement in the new year once christmas at sandringham is over my sense of that is that it's the tower in reverse so they are recovering from some enormous um earth shattering events and of course that would be scooby-doo's book and the, I've, I've seen in readings, I've seen how devastating that was for them, how very, very painful it, ha it was for both of them and I think still is. So my sense as a tarot reader is that um, they are still reeling from all of that poison that was fired at them unexpectedly. They, they, I don't think they saw it coming. And that's the tower out of the blue, shock, horror, devastation. Uh, but it's rebuilding, it's regrouping after that. So, okay, the dust has settled. We got through it, we're fine. You are more popular than you were before, Catherine. So all is good, but you could read it quite differently. So uh, let's see what the other cards tell us. Um, Edward and Sophie, the Edinburghs, how are they doing as a couple? We've got the five of wands in reverse. That's also an interesting card. Everyone's going through it. That's for sure. They're going through it. So they have been through it with the five of wands. There's been conflict in this relationship for whatever reason. There have been some trips apart recently. Uh, she's been off doing things. He's been off somewhere else doing stuff they have just put out their christmas card there has been trouble not gonna lie five of five of wands it's also in reverse uh, there was a a kind of a strong sophie statement about how upset she was uh, that she was accused of not helping megan and she was really shocked she tried her best uh, that kind of thing so i think there's been there's been rumbles in the royal family and possibly about the fact that these women have all been accused of things in endgame and not enough has been done to really support them and protect them and to send the lawyers out and make statements and deny. So eventually she came out and made a denial of her own. Her own. It's on my list of things to read on, but it keeps getting bumped out the way by every day. I mean, today, uh, it just was on my short list of things to read on. Actually, Sophie's name was on the short list and then Costa Rica popped up. So 
uh, Costa Rica with no kids. Got to read on that. What's going on? Uh, but there has been conflict, very much so. Um, so let's move on. Jack and Eugenie. Uh, I would have thought they, they were the dead, you know, the shoe in for a, a couple who's in trouble, uh, having to live apart, having to move back to the UK to try and consolidate things after the stint in Portugal, uh, rumours about him and, you know, hot girls on yachts in the med and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's look at them and let's see what's going on with them. I've got the Queen of Swords. I've got somebody who might have just made a very cold decision the queen of swords is not a happy married card if somebody sitting and thinking uh it's very similar to the star in reverse actually it's it's air sign again it's a kind of aquarian it's let's go through this and let's think it through rationally and am i prepared to tolerate this kind of behavior and um maybe not i'm going to um, make a decision from my head with my head and not with my heart could be um, it's of all of them so far it's, it's it shows the least conflict but it also shows a sort of resoluteness in the female of the partner in the marriage that this is now it's a little bit the heart is turned to ice in this situation for whatever reason. Um, let's have a look and see about... I've gone a bit blank. I, I was going through the Sandringham in list of people who go into the big lunch in the ballroom because it's such a big lunch, Christmas lunch, that they've had to move into the ballroom rather than the dining room. And I think that only Eugenie and kids, they were there, they were there at the recent Christmas lunch in London. He was there, she was driving and he was in the car with her, which I thought was interesting. Very, and she's in the driving seat then, something going on there. Anyway, it's all speculation. I'm just looking at energy, as we all know, tedious, I know, but the uh, the machine that goes through all of this stuff doesn't know it. it needs to be told every time. So, um, final couple, Harry and Meghan, how are they doing? Ha Ooh. Um, they're, they're, um, they're in trouble. Seven of Wands is fighting feeling like they're under attack as a unit or someone is feeling like he's under attack in there it might be that harry is feeling like he's being attacked by her and uh having to try and stand firm and and, and just endure the seven of wands is very much about holding your 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 uh, your your position standing firm and not not being knocked over, but, but feeling vulnerable, fe feeling under attack, feeling like they have to defend themselves as a couple against rumors, scurrilous rumors like this one, for instance. Um, on the face of it, this is the most divorcey card, the tower. I have to say that. Um, it's in reverse though. And there might have been, you know what, if you don't sort this out, if you don't get your father to sort it out, I'm taking the children and I'm off and I'm going to Costa Rica. And I'm never coming back. There might have been that kind of um, scenario. Uh, these two have been through it as well, the Edinburghs. Uh, a similar, it's a similar kind of energy, but much less dramatic. Of if you don't jolly well do something or get your brother to do something to defend me, then I'm packing my bags and I'm off. I'm out of here. I've I've been loyal and faithful. I'm married in that's been loyal and faithful. And look where it's got me. Being accused of being a terrible racist. She was accused of being a racist joking about oprah who and all of that and not helping megan when she did help megan uh eugenie is an interesting one because it's all of this shows fighting and so so none of these relationships is exactly in a sweet spot right now and that's life relationships never just well you hear about those people we've been married 65 years and we've never had a fight okay um, Queen of Swords is the one who is the most decisive, the most in control. And as I say, there she was driving the car, literally 
driving it. So for me, there is that stands out to me energetically compared with all of this. But the clue is the Queen of Pentacles, and there we have two very high status earth sign women, both Capricorns in the royal family who are fed up. So I wouldn't say this is this is a sure thing. This reading uh, leaves me as a tarot reader more concerned after doing it than I was before I did this. Oh, well, just for fun. I'm actually trying to keep the energy light this week and the build up to Christmas. Don't feel like digging deep in some of the very nasty stories that I could be digging around in. I just thought, well, let's check. There is this rumor. Let's see how they're all doing. And as I say, I can see trouble in all of these scenarios. Uh, so, hmm, maybe the sugars are onto something. Uh, anyway, we'll have to wait and see. That's your reading. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again. Maybe not tomorrow. Got Christmas things going on tomorrow, but definitely on Saturday.